Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing everything that I am loving with you. Some makeup, some skincare, some fragrance, and some random lifestyle things as well. I do these every other month or sometimes every two months or three months just when I have a good solid list of things that I'm truly, truly loving. Some of these things are not even new launches. They're things that I've rediscovered in the past few months and I wanted to share with you. So if you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. My first favorite is my Dossier perfume and this portion of the video is sponsored by Dossier. I've been working with them for over a year now and I love it. If you're not familiar with Dossier, they produce luxury inspired fragrances for a very small fraction of the typical retail cost. So essentially you are not paying for the branding or the packaging. You're not paying the markup, you're just paying for the fragrance. They have tons to choose from. They're constantly adding them on the website and they're anywhere from $29 to $49 depending on which fragrance you choose. Right now they are running some promotions. They typically do have promotions depending on how many perfumes you are buying. They have some type of discount. I also have a discount code with them that I will put up on the screen and below for you. Since I've been working with them for a while now, I've accumulated quite a few fragrances and sometimes I get stuck and I constantly want to use the same one and that's kind of where I'm at right now. And I believe this is the same one I mentioned last time I did one of these videos, but it's still the one that I'm using the most and it's Musky Musk from Dossier. So this is inspired by Juliet Has a Gun. If you are familiar with that one, it's the original Juliet Has a Gun, not a perfume. That is what this one is inspired by. The bottles actually tell you what the notes are. So you have the top notes, the middle notes, and the base notes, which is helpful if you're like me and you cannot describe accurately what things smell like to save your life. They tell you what the notes are on the bottle. So if you know that you like a particular scent, you can look and see, okay, I typically like things with a particular base note, which is helpful when you're picking out new fragrances. I personally like this one for this time of year because it's musky and very woodsy. It's masculine. I say that every time, but it, it is definitely a masculine type smell. So I think it's very universal. Anybody would like this, I personally think, and it's very unique. It's not something that I smell a lot. I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but I feel like this is a very unique perfume. I also sometimes will layer fragrances and use, you know, a spray of this and a spray of something else because the price point is so affordable compared to most perfume. I don't feel guilty having multiples, if you know what I mean. One of the reasons why the Dossier perfumes are more affordable is because the packaging is very simple. It's not anything crazy fancy which is fine with me i would much rather pay a lower price and not pay for crazy kind of packaging in a perfume i like something super simple and that's what this is it's nice it has a magnetic top and i like it i think it's nice neutral it looks nice sitting on your vanity or wherever you get ready and the musky must scent is what i've been going for lately as I said, I do have a discount code and an affiliate link that I will put in the description box and I'll put the affiliate code on the screen for you to use. If you'd like, when you check out, you can use my code. They're always running some type of promotion and sale and they're always adding new fragrances to the website. So definitely keep checking back to see when new fragrances are added. I did want to thank them for continuing to partner with me and sponsor this portion of the video. And let's go ahead and get into the rest of my favorites. All right, let's move into a few skincare products. I sometimes include skincare, sometimes I don't, but I have two things that I 
really love that I want to share with you. The first is a sunscreen and I think I've used this in a video. Sometimes I don't show the sunscreen step in makeup, but I love the beauty of Joseon sunscreen. So this is SPF 50 and it's re sun relief with rice and probiotics. This is made in Korea, which is amazing. I feel like Korean skincare is just, it's always good. And this is so lightweight, great under makeup. And I'm not kidding. It looks scary and kind of white when you pump it out, but then it's so thin, it blends so easily. Give it like 30 seconds and it the white has totally gone away. It blends right in. I have not had any issues with anything I've used it with. No pilling and I've been loving it. There's not a strong fragrance, which I love. And it's affordable. I want to say it's like $12 depending on where you get it. I got mine off Amazon. I absolutely love this. 10 out of 10 recommend and I want to repurchase because... I don't know if you can tell, but I'm running low on it already because this is the one I've been using over and over and over again. Highly, highly recommend. And my second skincare product, I don't think I've mentioned in a video before, but I am loving this cleansing balm by the brand Banilico, I think is how you say it. It's the Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. And this is the original. There are a bunch of different colors in this that are different scents. I have only ever used the pink one, which is the original. I actually had a uh, medium size of this that I used up already and I went back and bought this jumbo size because I use a cleansing oil every single day when I take my makeup off, I, I do a double cleanse. So I use this and melt the majority of the makeup off and then I follow that with whatever cleanser I'm using at the time. And this does have a smell. It's very light though. It smells a little bit sweet. It's not anything overpowering or obnoxious. It's just a little bit scented, but I don't mind it since it's in cleansing oil and I'm washing it off my face anyway. This does a fantastic job at removing all of my makeup. It takes off my face makeup, my eye makeup, mascara. If you've never used a cleansing balm, I highly recommend just buying like a little mini size and testing it out. This one is just so smooth and it doesn't leave my skin feeling stripped or oily at all. The residue comes right off when you rinse it off, but my skin still feels soft, and I have absolutely loved this. This is my second one, like I said, and I will definitely be buying a new one. It does come with a little scooper as well, so you don't have to stick your fingers in there. And it's not the cheapest cleansing balm, but it's not as expensive as a lot of them. I hesitate to spend a ton of money on cleansers and cleansing balms like this. Not that I want something super, super inexpensive, but I feel like I'd rather spend money on treatment serum type products and not as much on a cleanser or a moisturizer or things like that. So this one is not super inexpensive, but it's much less than like the Elemis cleansing balm that a lot of people love, myself included. I love that one, but it's so expensive. Even if it's on sale, it's still expensive for a cleansing balm. This one is, depending on the size, I want to say it's like $20 or so. I will link it below, obviously, but I have absolutely loved this. It doesn't cause any stinging or burning in my eyes, and it removes makeup really well. All right, let's move into the makeup, which is my favorite part. I have some random things that I've fallen back in love with that are not new. I've owned them for a while. And the first one is what I have on today. And it's from Fenty. It's the Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. I wear the shade number three, which is what I have on now. And it is pretty much a spot on shade match for me when I have no self tan. When I'm at my fairest, shade number three is a perfect match for me. I remember liking this when it came out, but about a month or so ago, 
I put this in my everyday makeup drawer actually and I because of that started using it more frequently and I forgot how beautiful this is. This gives wonderful coverage for a skin tint and I feel like it's unique because it's not a super glowy skin tint. I feel like most skin tints, tinted moisturizers, typically fall in the glowy or the radiant category, whereas this one is more of a natural finish. It's definitely not matte, but it's not glowy either. It's kind of right in between. And it even has a little bit of a blurring quality to it, not extreme blurring. So if you have a lot of really enlarged pores, this is not gonna totally erase them. I would still use a primer to try to help with that, but this does kind of blur and filter over any texture on your face. It's kind of hard to explain if you've never tried it, but I have been reaching for this so much. Even when I have on a full face of makeup, I've been wanting to use this because it feels like a skin tint. It's pretty lightweight and it doesn't look heavy, but it gives great coverage and I've really been enjoying it. So I've definitely fallen back in love with this from Fenty. I've also been loving my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. Again, this is not a new launch or a new product. I know this is a cult favorite for so many people, but I recently started using this shade, which is Creme Brulee. I've had it for a while. Madeline is what I use on my face in NARS concealer. That matches my like face skin tone better, but I pulled out my creme brulee recently and it's more of a pinky undertone. And this is kind of what started, or I guess reignited my love for this. This does so well under my particular eyes because of the pink shade, the pink undertone. It really helps with the blue, purple tones under my eyes that I always struggle with. But after I started using that again, I was watching one of my favorite makeup artists, Kelly Ann. I will link her Instagram below. She's not on YouTube, but she was saying she loves to use NARS in the shade Toffee as a color corrector on her clients, which I was in Sephora one day and I just decided to go swatch the toffee shade just to see what the color looked like and it just looked like it would be the perfect color correcting shade and it is. If you have seen any of my recent videos, I've used it in many of them so you've probably seen it but honestly I feel like this works better than my color correctors and if you know me, you know I love color correctors. I try tons of them. I love many of them, but this works so well, you guys, so, so well. I have a B-roll clip that I'll put in here, but I find when I use this, I need a very, very minimal amount of concealer. And when I pair it with creme brulee, just a little dot of this over the top, it's just a winning combo. That's what I have under my eyes today, and I am absolutely obsessed with it. So I just can't stop using these. From NARS, I know, again, it's not anything new, but I've kind of rediscovered them, and particularly the toffee shade for darkness. So if you have similar discoloration under your eyes to me, those blue-purple shadowy kind of tones, definitely look into toffee from NARS. Next is a bronzer, and this is another thing I've fallen back in love with. This is a fairly new product, but not super new, and it's the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. So I have shade light medium. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I have quite a big dip in here. I'm thinking I might even hit pan on this soon. I don't know, we'll see, but I have absolutely fallen head over heels with this product. So this is it here, and I love the color. Light medium is a great color for me. It's a little more cool toned, but not super cool toned. It's kind of, I would say neutral to cool, not super warm. And I am telling you, you cannot mess up this product. It is the easiest bronzing type product that I've ever used. And 
I will say it's similar to the Merit bronzer stick, the clay bronzer. The consistency is very similar to that. So if you have that, or if you want that, or you think you'd like that, you would like this. I don't think you need both because they're very similar. If I had to pick one, I would probably go with this one just because I typically prefer a compact like this, but this just melts into your skin. It's so thin and creamy and it just as soon as you start blending it's blended i swear almost as you are applying it it's almost blending itself at the same time i love it it adds just the perfect amount of a bronze to my face especially for days when i wear minimal makeup i love to just throw this on really quick and just add a little bit of color to my face i cannot recommend this enough it would not be a favorites video if I did not include a blush. And I actually had several that I thought about, but the one that just really stood out to me, and this one is actually a newer product to my collection, but it is from Merit, and it is their Flush Balm in the shade Cheeky. That is what I have on today as blush. And this color, this is just my perfect blush shade. It's a rosy nude and I have tried the Merit formula before so this is cheeky it's a beautiful rosy color and I've tried the Merit formula before in a different color I didn't love the color that I had so they recently sent me this one in cheeky and I love it so much more this is a perfect product to pair with this from Makeup by Mario because the formula is very similar it's very thin and just easy to work with, easy to blend. Like, I kind of applied that in a weird way, but it literally just blends instantly. It is not difficult whatsoever. It does give a little bit of glow on your face, but it's not a glittery blush or super, super radiant. It just kind of gives you that natural, healthy skin look. And you can just draw this directly on, or you can grab a brush and get it directly on the brush and tap it in that way. But this has been the blush that has stolen my heart recently. It's this one from Merit. My favorite powder recently, again, this may not be a surprise if you watch my videos, but I am loving the House Labs powder. So this is the Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. And I bought this when I bought the House Labs foundation. And I honestly thought I was gonna be obsessed with the foundation and, uh, and just kind of so-so about the powder. But I actually loved the powder even more than the foundation. I do like the foundation, but the powder has just really impressed me. So you get, this is translucent, but I think there's four other shades. So the powder comes out in this little netting when you dip your brush into it, or you can dip a puff or a sponge or whatever you want to use. This powder on my skin is one of the most blurring I've tried. And I'm talking even more blurring, in my opinion, than the Givenchy Prisme Libre powder. I also have that one. I also love that one. I just, lately, I have just been loving this one a little bit more. And it's translucent in color, so I can use it all over my face. I can use it under my eyes and on the rest of my face to set my makeup. It's very fine. It, it is not a thick powder. It doesn't look powdery close up on your skin. And this is the one, this is the one I've been going to. I have it today under my eyes and on the rest of my face to set the skin tint and the other products and I absolutely love it. I have only been wanting to use this powder for the last few weeks. <laughs> the next favorite is a brow product and you probably know what it is, but I had to put it in the video and it's the CoverGirl, I always forget the name of it, the Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. So I was introduced to this by one of you, one of my lovely subscribers, Candace. She recommended this and I just haven't wanted to use anything else since. I have to make myself use a different 
brow product than this. I don't know what it is. The color is perfect for me, but the consistency on this is perfect. It is pigmented enough so you don't have to work and press down really hard with it to get the color payoff, but it's not so pigmented that it's hard to work with. It's, it's just very easy to use, very easy to apply. It has a spoolie on the end, which is essential, and it's affordable. It's, I think, $5.99, which is fantastic. I cannot say enough good things if you need another or a new brow pencil. You need this one from CoverGirl. Okay, two more makeup things and then we'll move on to the lifestyle stuff. So the first, love, 100% adore palette is this one. I'm sorry, I know. You've seen this all over social media, I'm sure. The Ethereal Eyes Palette from Makeup by Mario. That is what I have on my eyes today and you guys, this is just perfection. I don't really have much to say about it other than the color story is everything. It is beautiful. It is neutral. It is easy to blend. It is expensive. I know that's kind of the, the main thing I'm hearing about it is people are upset about the price and I get that. It is an expensive palette. I do think though that the quality is there. To me, it is 100% worth the price. If you've used a lot of eyeshadow, you know the difference really quick between a really good eyeshadow formula and just an okay formula. This is better than really good. It's fantastic. The mattes are easy to blend. They're buildable. It's a very soft color story. So I do think you have to like a certain type of makeup look to get enough use to justify the price of this palette. If you like my style of makeup, I feel like you will like this. Um, it's very soft. It's not, I don't know, just intense Natasha Denona or um, Pat McGrath. It's a very different vibe. It's a very, as the name says, ethereal vibe, which is what I love. That is what I reach for all the time. So to me, it is 100% worth it. The glitter toppers are beautiful. Today I have on this uh, matte kind of warmer brown right here. Then I have a little bit of this deeper brown in the outer corner. And then I topped it with the gold glitter topper down there and I love it. I 100% recommend. I don't think you will be disappointed in it. If you like soft style of makeup, soft eye makeup, I think you'll love this. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, the other eyeshadow that has just really wowed me this month, or in the last, this is actually a newer purchase, so it, this was in the last month, but it's this from Essence, and it's this cute little nothing compares to nude eyeshadow palette. This little palette. If you are a neutrals, oh gosh, if I can get it open. If you are a neutrals kind of girl like me and you don't own this little palette, you need this in your life. What a cute six pan palette. I will use and do use every single one of these shades. It's small. It's easy to take with you. You get two mattes and four more metallic shimmers that go with everything. Any makeup, any lip, this palette will work and it's $3.99 you guys this cute little palette is $3.99 but you wouldn't know it i used this in my full face of essence and catrice makeup and if you saw that video you saw my reaction to this i have just consistently wanted to use this since filming that video i think it's wonderful and highly highly recommend I have a few new brushes that you may have seen me use that I have really been enjoying that I wanted to mention. The first one is from Sephora Collection and it's the number 55. So I've been using this for powder. So anytime when I apply the House Labs powder or whichever powder I'm using, I've been using this brush to just lightly set my face and it's the perfect size, the perfect density. It's actually meant for foundation, but I find that it's really good for just setting your face with a powder. I'm sure you could use this for foundation or maybe even 
powder bronzer or blush, but I've personally been liking it for setting my face. It's the perfect size to get right in the T-zone, and I love it. It's great quality. Sephora collection brushes are always great, and I feel like I've been looking for the perfect all-over powder brush, and I think I finally found it. I love this one. And then I have a few brushes from BK Beauty, and these are part of their new line extension of brushes. They recently came out with a nine-piece brush set that's kind of an extension of their original brush set. They did send these to me, but if you watch my videos, you know I talk about BK Beauty brushes all the time. These two are the ones that I have been using the most and I love them. This one is the 110, so this is their large concealer brush and a few of you have asked me about this. This is very, very similar to my Sigma F03. That's what it reminds me of that I talk about all the time. It's a little bit bigger and the shape is different. This one is more rounded. This one is more, this one is for highlighter. It's supposed to be for highlighter. So the shape is just a little bit different. This one's a little more dense, a little more tapered, and it's kind of like a brush and a sponge in one. It blends everything out so easily and it's amazing. I love it. It's the perfect size. You could use it for other things. You could use it to powder your under eyes or you could use it to contour your face, but I have been loving it for under my eyes for concealer. You've probably seen me use it in the last few videos and it's definitely getting up there in terms of favorite with the Sigma concealer brush. And then the other one is the 109. So this is their new I think they call this cream cheek brush maybe. I'll have to look it up and see, but it's a mini version of their 101 foundation brush and this is perfect for cream bronzer and blush. I used it today to apply the Merit blush and the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. This brush is kind of angled and it's just the perfect shape to literally tap your product exactly where you need it. I used it for bronzer and blush today and it is perfect. It applies and like blends the product at the same time. It's just the right size and I have been using this so much. I love these two brushes. They do sell the nine piece set, just the face brushes alone and just the eye brushes or the whole set. They don't sell them individually just yet. I'm sure they will at some point, but you can't go wrong with BK Beauty brushes. I have so many of them and I love them. Okay, then I have just a few random lifestyle type things. The first one is this sweatshirt that I'm wearing. You might have seen me wear it in another video. I don't know, but this I, I just love it and let me kind of show you what it looks like. I'll try to overlay a clip of me wearing it, but it's from Abercrombie. It's very basic. It says New York and it's this cream color, kind of an oatmeal creamy color. And then it's embroidered with like a nude in the front right here. Something about me is, well, several things. I love sweatshirts cozy things of any kind. So pajamas, sweatshirts, sweatpants, cozy socks, loungewear, pajamas, anything like that. I love it. So that's thing number one. Thing number two is if it says New York on it, I'm going to want it even more. <laughs> so when I saw this in Abercrombie, I knew I had to have it and I have worn it so much since it's kind of cropped but it's oversized i'll try to overlay a clip of me wearing it so you can see it a little bit better it's very soft it comes in other colors with other places on them i think or on it i think there's a los angeles one a paris one and then i want to say there's a fourth one also but i will link it below if you like neutrals comfy cozy cute things to wear Highly recommend this sweatshirt, but really any of the graphic sweatshirts from Abercrombie are really great. Okay, let's talk about a book. I've been, in the last year or so, I've been getting more into reading before I go to bed. I try to at least read 
one chapter in a book. Sometimes I read more. Sometimes I don't even make it through one chapter. It just kind of depends. But I just find that I sleep so much better when I read before I go to bed. And I've read a few books, and a few of them are very popular books that I actually have not been that crazy about. But I did just finish this one. So this is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover, I'm sure you've seen. She has just gotten so popular from influencers in the last year. Maybe she was super popular before that, but I feel like her books just started appearing everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and I've read a few of them. This was my third one. I read It Ends With Us, and then I read Verity. Honestly, I did not love either of those books. I It Ends With Us was kind of depressing to me. I, I don't know. I didn't I didn't love it. I I have mixed feelings about it. I enjoyed it while I was reading it, but when it was over, I was like not happy with the ending, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then Verity was kind of the same thing. It was creepy to me and I don't know. I liked the love aspect in it, but the other part of it was just, I don't know. It was odd, I guess is how I would describe it. But this one, it does... It is a little sad in parts, I guess, but in the end, I feel like I liked I liked the ending on this one. It wasn't, I don't need everything to be like rainbow and sunshine in <laughs> books that I read, but I also want it to end well in the end. And I didn't feel that way necessarily with the other two, but I liked this one. So let me know your thoughts on Colleen Hoover books. If you have a favorite let me know what it is. I really liked Ugly Love the best. I am now reading It Starts With Us, kind of the sequel to It Ends With Us. I'm now reading It Starts With Us. So anyway, let me know. If you don't read before bed, I highly recommend trying it out. I feel like it really does help you sleep better. And one final thing. This is super, super random, but I just wanted to mention it because I've been using this for months now and I personally love it. And it's this from the brand Calm, Natural Vitality Calm Magnesium Citrate Supplement. So basically you are, how I use it is I use a scoop of this in warm water and it's a powder, it kind of dissolves and then you drink it. I do this like an hour, hour and a half before I go to bed and magnesium has been shown to help with sleep. I, If I don't have this at night, I will take a magnesium like supplement. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not saying that I am. I'm just telling you what I've been taking and I either do that or I drink this. And to me, this tastes really good. It tastes, the flavor is raspberry lemon. My husband doesn't like it, and I think I made my mom try it too, and she didn't like the flavor of it either. I think it tastes really good, and I actually look forward to drinking this at night. I love a warm drink before I go to bed. I was drinking tea for a while. Um, I forget which one it was, uh, but I was doing that for a while, and then I tried this, and I personally love it. We got this big size at Costco, but I know you can get it. I've seen it at Target, I've seen it on Amazon, and I'm sure there's other places that sell it. But I really enjoy this as a nighttime drink before bed. All right, you guys, that is everything that I've been loving lately. I hope you enjoyed hearing some beauty and lifestyle fragrance and just everything that I'm loving right now. So I hope you enjoyed. I will list and link everything below as always. Thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring the video and continuing to support me and my channel. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1 and I will see you next time. Remember simply be you. Bye.